Dr. Swachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. In one of our uh, videos, there was a comment that uh, we should talk in detail about the morphology of sperms, how it is performed and what is the importance of studying morphology. Thank you very much for the query. We shall answer the question now. Morphology is a very important aspect of semen analysis. Like I said before, count, motility, morphology are the three important things that we look at when we talk about a particular sperm. We also are looking at other things like I said in micro examination like the pH and volume and so many more things. But when we look at micro analysis, we look at pus cells, we look at WBCs, we see if there are red blood cells, that is if there is any bleeding in the semen. The most important aspect is count, motility and morphology. These three things are very critical. Today we will talk about morphology. Morphology has been now proven to be a very important aspect of fertilization. It has been proven that when the morphology is poor, fertilization capacity of the sperm comes down. Because if the head is turned or if the head is disrupted or if the, uh, the shape is not what it should be, then the sperm cannot enter the egg and it is uh, incompetent to fertilize it because it cannot bring about the changes that are required once it is inside the egg. Let's look at the role each part of the sperm structure plays. There is a head, there is a mid piece kind of a neck and there is a tail. The head has the nucleus which has chromosomes which are inherited from the father. Now it's very critical that it be placed in about two thirds of the head and the head is covered with a cap like structure called acrosome. If this shape is not maintained, then the sperm cannot interact with the egg. It cannot release the enzymes which are required for entry into the egg. Once inside the egg, then it cannot bring about something called as uh, activation of the egg, which will lead to fertilization and further divisions of the cells inside the egg. So it's very, very critical that the head be in the particular shape with its correct size, with the acrosome cap, with the necessary nucleus inside the head. If all these are not present, then fertilization is not uh, possible or it is hampered by way of, you know, too many miscarriages or very poor embryo quality. All these things are a byproduct of poor morphology of the head. Let's look at what the neck has. The neck has mitochondria. Mitochondria is basically like a battery of any cell. So sperms also have mitochondria which are important for make the movement. Mitochondria are also like battery and they are responsible for sperms uh, to move. If mitochondria is not present or mitochondrial defect is there, motility is reduced or there is no motility sometimes because of this deficit. So mitochondria are a very important part. The neck also has a very important part called centriole. This is very critical because once the sperm enters the egg, the centriole is what is very important for exchange of chromosomes. The father's centriole is very critical in uh, placing the mother's chromosomes and father's chromosomes on the centriole and that's where the exchange happens. So it's very critical that the centriole be functioning properly and uh, it's very important for further cell divisions. Therefore, centriole is what is you know inside the neck and it's very very important for uh, sperm uh, activity. When we talk about the tail, tail as we know it is just important in giving it m movement. If there are two tails, if the tail is too thick, if the tail is too small, all these lead to improper motility of the sperm. So the sperm is not able to swim till the egg, it's not able to fertilize it because when it has to go inside, the tail is what is responsible for pushing it inside the egg. So it's very very critical that the tail be in the shape that it should be, in the proper uh, form it should be, the length, the, the thickness, everything should be maintained. That's when fertilization happens. So morphology is a very critical uh, factor when determining whether the sperms in a sample have fertilization capacity or not. When sperms are not uh, of the proper morphological competence, the report is given as teratozoospermia. That's the uh, indication that morphology is not what it should be. In a sample, how we look at it is, we study 100 sperms and at least four should have proper morphology. When such a sample is observed, it is given as a normal sample based on the count and motility. But uh, if it is below 4%, then it is uh, called as a teratozoospermic sample. If you want to understand more, you have been given a sample report as uh, teratozoospermia and you want to understand more about how to evaluate this morphology, where is the defect present, how is it bringing down your fertility potential, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.